Well, no, there's the physical recoil that you feel, but then your barrel also moves. Okay, so there's gonna be gun customization. I hope it's nice. Yeah. Like, I don't know if they mean, like, individual... Oh, oh tutorial prophecies of the path. Oh, I didn't even... Sorry, I didn't notice that yeah, quickly enough. I didn't notice enough. it either. We could maybe patch that in with, uh... Ooh. Ooh, fire extinguisher. So apparently fire is a thing in this world. Ah, uh, I was curious if it would be, like, a smoke screen. Is this something? No. Everything, everything actually looks really nice. Yeah, there's a little bit of motion. Too much motion blur. In my yeah, opinion. there's... Way too much motion blur. That is significant game. motion blur. I usually have motion blur off. Yeah. Maybe it's more significant because of my computer screen sharing, but True. But it but it is pretty bad. Yeah, no, it's almost like for just a quick second, everything's blurry. Well, less than a second. How does one get up there? Probably from a, a room in the bottom. Ah, I see you can't. <laughs> No, uh, it's not quite Yeah, okay. Well, maybe. Oh, no. Parkour. Okay. Okay. Ooh, joysticks. Hello. 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 Okay, hang on. Wait, wait, there are some more words. What do the buttons do? Storm. No, no, on the left. Oh, I mean the right, sorry. No, no, up, up. Oh, there you go. Oh. Drum verse gung. I'm gonna Google Translate that real quick. Daniel. Okay, Unfall follow me. Pause. Daniel. Let me mute myself. My dad's calling me. Nothing in these builder boxes. Are those ships? Are those... No, those are buildings. Ooh. <laughs> they still got a fucking 2017 mop. It's amazing. Ooh. It's downstairs. Well, further downstairs. Um. Huh. Well, that don't seem right. Whoa. Oh, huh, so kind of put your head through the wall. Hi. Well, he was just standing there. <laughs> yeah. I guess he was a pacifist. Did you see me stick my head through the wall? Yeah, I was watching. I was watching. I just had to. That's <laughs> like, what the fuck? There's a wall on the other side of a door. Well, let's see hidden, if you can find a hidden texture. Hit, yeah. Stick your head in walls. Oh. Well, uh, I think the devs need to make their textures a bit more solid. I think they... yeah. I do kind of like how I can lean over stuff to look down. That makes sense, because your head does that when you... Yeah. But maybe make some something that can limit me from looking through the wall. Don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Uh, oh! His head came, my helmet came off! Oh, he made a noise! Yeah, a really weird noise. He's got a mask on, it sounded like a, it was very hollow. Oh, oh, the color just all changed. Maybe that means I killed them all. We'll check out his face, see if you can kick him off. Oh, tutorial, train construction. Go to the cranes panel and activate it. Open the construction menu. Construction uses all resources and str- Well, it- player who access the menu. Builder boxes are located on the edge of the depot's platform. They will store resources received from disassembled structures. Don't forget to pick them up. If you leave the depot, you will lose them. Okay, so apparently they don't carry over to the next depot, but all boxes connect. Nice. So, so wait, long as you're one in of, that nation. So one of these boxes is all of the boxes? I'm guessing all, but, well, either that or it pulls from all of the boxes. Well, let's find out. Put a ripper in there. Yep. Huh. Well, doesn't that limit your inventory then, technically? Yeah. Severely, actually. 
it should pull from all the boxes, but you still have to put them there. What is this? I don't know. It says, uh, hate train, mine... Oh, those are probably schematics. Ah. Uh. I don't know why you would make a minefield, but okay. I do love this inventory system, though. Yes, this is very like this style of inventory. World Script was. Yeah, in any in most games I've seen this in. Consumables, dirty ice. <clears throat> I don't suggest you drink it yet. Yeah, me neither. Both because it is a solid and dirty. <laughs> Just kind of looking around. Hmm. <laughs> the textures are really nice, though. Yeah, starting out. <clears throat> I also wanted to look at oh, here, I wanted time. to uh, Google Translate that, uh, the word on the, the panel. So weird. Yeah, let's go check out that word. Okay, let me type this what? in. Translate. Get me up there. It would be cool if it's a made-up language. Yeah. Looks Germanish. It's not long enough if it's German. <laughs> Stromversorgung. Hold on, go back. Sorgung, apparently. Oh, power supply, what is it? It's German, yeah! So okay, power so supply, power one, supply. Two, one, two, three, and three. four. In aus? In out, probably. Yeah. Unfall Unfall pos. Bre what is that? shift. So it's bur it shaft. Stand by. Ah, stand by, okay. And then I'm E I N. We got another one here called System Leslong? Leslong? System? I'm guessing that's an I. C I S. L U N G? Yes. Oh, that's a T, actually, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be a T. Two, three, four, five, six channels. Oh. Hold on, go back to it. I mean, typed it in wrong, I think. Sys. System. I C. I S. T U N G. Unless I'm reading it wrong, I'm not getting it. It's not popping up. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. Maybe try L instead of a T. Hold on. I'm doing the other word. B E T B E T R L E T R E L. I have no idea that one. <clears throat> yeah. Nope. Don't know what that is. Eh, oh well. That also explains why it's hello. Yeah. It's a very old phone type. Yeah. That's huh. not even a rotary phone. Okay, let's see what this does. Whoa. <laughs> <clears throat> this is really bright. Ow. Did you just fall off the world? Oh, you're in the builder. Okay. Train construction 2. In the depot building mode, you can place projects similar to the crafting book. All projects will be placed in the construction queue. Do not rush. Okay. Didn't get to read that. I should start, like, screen capping whenever those pop up. Constructing? What? Train layout. Ooh. Add hey, you can build your nice. Oh. oh, I love that. Probably you should build a storage depot as your first bit. Constructions, machinery, train layout. Transmission handle, trolley handle. It's not anything really in here. Oh, it says Q, platform. Ah, uh, see, I don't have iron ingots, springs, or bearings. I believe that bears would be rather hard to find in a... <laughs> bearings. Oh, 
Oh. So this is where you actually get to build your own train. Yeah, so you get to move that. Well, I don't really have anything to build with, though. Unfortunate. Well, actually, I have to put materials in the build box, right? Perhaps. Let's try that. I'll just put all of my... I can't imagine chemicals or fat would be used to build it. I grease up the wheels. Did it say that there was any loot here that I could take besides the dead bodies? Don't know. Go down I... that ladder. What's down there? I haven't seen anything. Just an observation. Oh, platform Ooh. access. Okay. <laughs> Wonder how down. No, but look! That building right there has struts that go down, so it's touching something, I'm guessing. Well, we're in like a big box thing, I think. Mm. We went into it. Maybe. Maybe the world does have relative gravity, and they built the big box thing to create an area of just safe relative gravity. There's gotta be some other loot in here. Huh. I think I searched everywhere, though. Hmm. Oh. There's an empty room in there. How about in here? Okay, let's go back in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The, the tablets I got. Oh, yeah, schematics. Nice. Let's see if that goes into there. Upgrade wagon. Oh, can you create your own minefield to protect your things that bite you? Nope, I don't think I can craft anything. Hmm. If you don't have the supplies to do so, then keep moving on. I suppose it's simply more important to slow down and grab your stuff down. Right. Grab Unless I'm just missing reach. something. Well, so go to the crane and activate it, but I'm guessing you've done that at this point. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Um. So what's this? Time to go out of the. Um... Modify right. path. Oh, those are prophecies. That's what that thing was trying to tell us. But we, but we, but we didn't even notice that it changed. Oh, where you go to the next place? That's what. That's what these are. Well, grab all your loot and then get going. Yep. Oh. Heat train. What sounds better, hate train or minefield? I'm gonna go with hate train. <laughs> I don't like the thought of a minefield. I'm gonna scour this place. I mean, but you already know what the time. mines do, though. The hate train make it sounds more metaphor. Uh, I'm also noticing in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, water and food. They're blinking. You found uh, well, you found organics. Yeah. How does one consume? That's called ore. Use. Organics. Use. Ah. So now they're only white blinking, I think. Is Which it? ones did you eat? I ate a dirty ice and a organic. Is there really nothing else around here, though? There's got to be something. Well, did the early access just come out? Uh, I think it's been out for a little bit, but I don't know well, It could long. be that there's still only very little amount of stuff. Well, I mean, there's got to be, like, a place for me to craft components with scrap metal, right? Oh, that got a little bit scary for a second. Can you jump off the side? What happens? Probably, and I'll probably die. There's gotta be, like, a crafting thing, because at the start of the game I had, like, that little workbench. Or do I have to place, like, a workbench down? Hang on, how do I bring out the hammer? I don't know. Did it say what button that- Ooh. Ooh multi-tool mode. Repair, deconstruct, and exit. Interesting. <sighs> do any of these things need repair? Ah, oh, that needs repair. That needs repair. Oh, and I'm out of wood. Damn. Or am I? No. 
Oh no, it just only repairs a certain amount per. Huh. What? How does... Trolls... Yeah, hammer is X. Open book is Z? It's book. Oh, workbench. Oh. Oh, we're stupid. What? Look at this. Hmm. This is how I craft shit. There's a smelter, a lab, a research oh, table. Oh, I see, I see. A box. Let's make a smelter. Ooh. <clears throat> smelter skelter. <clears throat> oh, I like how it's like dynamic. Like it's not like like fixed boxes that I can place. Nice. Can I rotate it? I can. Oh, I can't precisely rotate. Fuel in system. Wood? Wait, actually, will you burn fat? No. Be really Camera amazed fat. if you could. Iron ingot? You can make a fucking iron ingot in eight seconds? Holy shit. It's a really hot smelter. Yeah, no kidding. Oh! Okay. So now I probably need a workstation. I'm, like, fucking starving again. Oh, I'm not used to this yet. Use. Use. I'm guessing they'll implement some kind of disease if there's dirty ice that you're gonna have to drink, so you have to purify it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what was it again? Z. Okay. Workbench? I need three iron and three wood. Okay, well, I guess I guess it's time to go out now. Oh, these modify what I what happens. Path contains more mines. Sharks are more aggressive. Why would you want that? Yeah. Well, I mean, experiment. Try it. Uh, wait. Was there a a place that I could relook at that in the book. No. Settings. Game. No. Controls. Hmm, no. I'm trying to see if there's a way to bring back up the tutorial on it. Does it give me more stuff? I mean, mines aren't bad, but do they give me anything if I kill them? I don't know. I'm gonna guess that there's a give and take. I'll activate more mines. Oh, you choose your reward! Oh, okay, so yeah, put both in then. Uh, it contains more dirty ice. Uh, void contains more wood or more metal. Hmm. Thinking wood, just because it's gonna be my fuel. Hmm, okay, okay. You can press r reset button to reset the current path modify. So, is that modified? Yep. But if I reset, destroy all inserted prophecies. Okay, no. That's pretty cool, though. Can you only pick one, or can you add more now? I probably could have oh, added more. Different. What is? Come back, come back. Little thing in the middle of your trolley. What? Oh. Oh, yeah, it is different. That's neat. Very Celtic. Very. Someone's going to be like, it's not Celtic, it's Nordic. <laughs> Which I wouldn't mind that correction, I love history. Okay, let me just make sure I didn't leave anything in here. Nope, okay. Let's go. Howdy ho! That is really fast. 
apparently that thing can dampen gravity as well because you go flying. Oh yeah. Or dampen inertia. Ooh, oh, I hate it. Mm -hmm. You're in the dark zone now. Can you break now? Oh, it's just flying. You're now familiar with the basic mechanics of the demo. Remember, this is only a small part of the game, with much of the game still in development. Well, research up to the steam engine. Cleaning afterwards, you may encounter problems and errors. Loot crap, build your own train. Get the... Nice, okay. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to read all that because I wanted to break. God, that dude is so zippy, it actually scares me. Gosh, please. And yeah. I don't like how dark it is. <laughs> I was fine with it before. Please turn back. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of what the fuck's in the dark. Mm. Oh, like that. Good way of putting it. Now, if they could snip your cord. Oh, if they no. could bite your cord. <laughs> <Don't say that. laughs> <laughs> devs, devs, you know what you need to devs, do. You have to add. You have to add that now, please. I'm gonna actually, like, like, I'm not even they target. Twitter. Not even they target your rope. If they just swim through it, they bite it. Okay, well, this will be the end of the first episode, but we can keep playing because I'm enjoying myself. Bye bye. Welcome back to Bows and Balls. Let's just start the episode there. Ah, Fuck, bitch. <laughs> Okay, I gotta get as much stuff as possible, but I wanna kill this guy first. Yeah. Now, is that a cloud still, or is that a chunk of ice? That's a cloud. Yeah. I don't like that constant, like, weird, like, revving noise that that circle is making. You're getting bigger to an engine. I heard you. An there engine you of what, though? Right. Is he dead? Nope. Just disappears off into the darkness. Well, yeah, now you know that you do have to actually get everything. I'm that grappling hook will make the game a lot easier, Oh though. yeah, I'm really glad I didn't choose this bitch being more aggressive, because it is too dark. Mm. Now, you're, you're right next to the base. Try swimming backwards. Well, no, I can reverse it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I could return if I wanted to. Is he or dead? Or did you go back in? Oh, yeah, he's, he's, dead. he's dead, he's dead. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a skull. Mmm. Oh, that freaked me the fuck out, dude. I'm actually really on edge. I don't like this. If they are going to go for a kind of horror aspect, or if there's going to be... I hope there's going to be horror elements. Gigantic bones. Oh, no. Just like that? There was something that, like, over there. Something so big it takes you a while to recognize its skull. Yeah, it was like me and Noida. <laughs> Alright, that, mm. that wasn't as big as some of the other things I've seen though. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of loot. I'm glad it floats. Yes. I wouldn't mind the implementation of like a goggles, uh, a type of goggles to look to to have the loot glow like that. Yeah, instead of it just already glowing. Yeah. I'm still trying to think of that word I was thinking of when a game gives you syntax? Is it, no, no it's definitely, not, syntax definitely not syntax. Uh, I'm so I'm tempted so just to word. blow through this zone because I don't like how dark it is. Also, that's a storm cloud. <laughs> Look, that's white. That's black. A tactile! Tactile response. A tactile response. I think it's tactile. Oh, wow, that got a lot more white as I got closer. Oh, it's not a storm cloud, it's just dark. Dude, I don't no. want to move. I really don't. It's too dark. <laughs> imagine that. It, imagine there are storm clouds, and when you get to them slow, just a, get an, am, uh, an amorphous kind uh, of begins to reach. Can you, re can you rejoin you. the Discord? You're breaking up a lot. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I don't like so, you guys. Like I was saying, 
Imagine if you approach a storm cloud, just these weird little tentacles slowly begin to approach you. You've got to move you. past it quickly. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Man, fuck they're not even fast. There's just a couple of them. They're very slow. Fuck you. <laughs> and I you just love just horror. I don't like playing horror games. <laughs> you ever actually have you you heard of PT? Yes, PT was They've... awesome. They stripped that game off the internet. You can't buy a new copy. Really? Yeah, you can only get someone else's copy. What is that? Oh, it's just a piece of wreckage. Mm hmm. I wonder if once you get a bigger ship, you can pull wreckage in and dismantle it. That would be cool. Yeah. Really expedite the process. Oh, some organic material above you. Yeah, I see that. I'm trying to get past this cloud. You don't want the little tentacles coming? I don't want to- I don't want that fucking thing to spawn in them. Okay, so wait, I'm gonna bring up the Tyranids again. So basically, the way I like to look at the Tyranids is kind of like this. So this- as much- this much is canon. The Tyranids are a hive mind organism that even though there's hundreds and thousands of subspecies, they're all the same organism. Because it's able to create more of itself to fit a situation. So... They'll come onto a planet, strip it of all of its organic material, but then... Oh, uh, there is a bullet drop. Well, there is. Well, then there is some form of gravity of some sort. Okay, but like <laughs> I saying, don't like it, dude. I really don't. I hate this, actually. Oh, hi. If you look closely enough, suddenly you see a darker silhouette barely moving across the bottom. I'm not fucking looking down again. <laughs> I'm joking. So, I know you're joking, like, but I'm not looking down but, again. But uh, imagine that. Imagine if you, if you looked really closely and over a long period of time you just noticed and it was, it, you, you look and it's like, it's just it's just a swarm. It's just a massive moving object. Oh god, I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunthead. Oh, but wait. then the, the, the... Ah! We got fucking four shots, I don't fuck you up with it. Come back here, bitch. Yeah, single auto at this time. Also, what is that thing on my wrist? A pit boy. <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, keep a look at it. Where did he it's go? It's just at the red Maybe right now, so. I wonder if it'll be. If they do ever implement, like, a, uh, something that would be cool to see is a tier system to the, um, the looting. So, mm. like, you need better tools to loot better stuff. Yeah. Imagine if, like, you could get a train cart and it was actually a butcher's room and I'm you needed a harpoon moving. gun to grapple those things when you killed them and pull them in. That would be pretty cool. That'd be cool. You'd pull in the whole body. Mm. I don't like how white the cloud turns. Like, I get that my front light is hitting it, but it's just way too white. Bit too much of a color translation? Yeah. Should probably tone that down a little bit. Okay. But again, like I was saying with Tyranids, so basically, um, once they've finished uh, sapping the entire planet of all of its nutrients, all of the Tyranids on the planet will intentionally commit suicide and be reabsorbed into the overall mass of the creature. So it is still one creature. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, the as the theory goes, as it's suggested in 40k, the actual Tyranid body hasn't even arrived in the galaxy yet. Oh, wow. Like, its actual overall body has been shown, Itch. metaphorically speaking, through symbolism and imagery. The things that are attacking are just tendrils and just, like, scout pods. Can you like, stop imagine... fucking talking about that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. So, the actual body of the creature is probably the size, it's bigger than the galaxy. And it's, it's just really flung. Tiny. It's just flung to it cells of itself in comparison. Give me some real stress right now. And even those creatures are a threat to the entire galaxy. Damn. Just that is a threat. So, I had an idea for this game. Uh, no, no, so I had an idea. Imagine a creature like that, like an ever-thirsting hunger. 
But due to an experience that it had, it actually stopped. It, it, it chose to stop eating creatures. So it's this gigantic, like, it's the size of several, it's the size of a planet. And it would go around consuming entire planets. But okay. then it met this one psychically proficient species. And the species didn't resist. They just let themselves be eaten. And the whole time, they sang this psychic song of forgiveness and apology. Hmm. And so this creature, which is, it, it's big enough that it is consciously aware. Right. Like, there's this, uh, it, it's kind of a sci-fi concept. Imagine a creature, there are, there are various creatures in science fiction that have been so electromagnetically capable that they were accidentally sentient. Like, the, their electrical circuitry was so advanced that they had enough thought capacity to actually be self-aware. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, these things come out of fucking nowhere sometimes. Yeah. And so imagine this creature that consumes planets and eats worlds, just being Hi. sung this lullaby by this race that it's eating. And for the first time, it feels sadness. Oh, damn. And it stops. That would suck. And it just can't bear to eat anymore. And the story goes that it's, it's basically starving itself and traveling the world. Do you hear that? I hear the music. Under the music, I thought I could hear like, it almost sounded like a whale noise. I heard that too. Yeah, that right there. Just very low tone. Yeah. So there must be one of those things around here. Hmm. Ooh, the rails are creaking. Ooh. Here's a little feature for the devs. What if... So, so, rails... Rails are actually pretty good at translating sound. Like, if you ting a rail, someone can be, like, tens of feet away from you and they can hear it if they've got the ear up against it. Yeah. What if you occasionally hear the rumbling of other carts? Ooh. But you never get close enough to see them. That would be cool. Like, what, what if there's even points where, like, you feel like you, you speed up faster and faster and faster trying to catch up to someone. And then the clouds break and there's no one there. That would be super creepy and super cool. Yeah. I knew I heard one of you. I was like, should I go grab it? I probably shouldn't go grab it. One of them is probably lurking around here somewhere. Yeah. I but get just imagine a that. Imagine a creature that. that big, like I was talking about, for the you first time bitch. feeling sadness. And there's that weird- yeah, look, there's the- oh. you got Aurora Borealis going around you right now. Damn, that fucking- that, uh, muzzle smoke is really hard to see through. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's kind of accurate for a big enough caliber gun. I don't think this is a big caliber gun, though. Yeah. You ever seen a deagle actually go off? Yeah. It's like a three-foot cone of fire. Or pear shape, actually. I hope I get a turret to take you the fuck out one of these days. I want to kill him before I get, before I get shit because I'm below 50 health. Oh, uh, I see, I see. And I can't get health back until I eat. There he is. Yeah, I heard him over this way. I'm glad that the game has a uh, a good enough sound system you can hear where they're coming from. I also have uh, a specifically bought uh, sound system for that. I see, I see. Is he dead? Yep. What if there was the option to unhook yourself? I'd kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't reach the body, you bitch. I I thought that the uh. By the way, fucking hats off to you devs for making bodies that actually stay still when they die. That's something Bossa always had an issue with. And Bossa? It, yeah, that uh, they made Worlds Drift. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And in Worlds of Drift, whenever you'd kill a race, sometimes it would still be moving and it would freak you the fuck out. 
Well, imagine if they justified it like, oh, well, it's it's their it's their death rattle. It's their body just twitching. Yeah, but it would just never stop twitching. Mm. Pure ice. Ooh. So maybe there is going to be a disease system in this game. I'm guessing right now, pure ice just works better. Mm, I see. Yeah, just imagine getting dysentery here. <laughs> That'd be the worst. Sure, like, there's no gravity, so imagine wiping. I'd imagine people would just keep a series of concentrated fans. <laughs> just to, to blow it away from you. <laughs> yes. Well, there seems to be relative gravity here, so you'd have to just stay very close to the platform. Or, I mean, maybe you would need a, uh... A, <laughs> maybe you would need a new type of catheter. Oh no. <laughs> it's just like a pipe that comes out of your ass and goes behind you. <laughs> For, yeah, no, you, you've got an oxygen tank, you've got a... and then you've got that. <laughs> it's just coming straight out of your ass. And, <laughs> they were flying in a formation. Right at they've me. They've been doing that. Yeah, they've been doing that, but they never did it straight at me before. Hmm. There was an anime that I watched once where um, they the suits they wore had a frontal catheter Oops. because there were no bad there were no bathrooms on the ships they had, so they had to the suits recycled their own water. Oh, I like how the light only comes on when you're moving. Oh, that makes because sense. That's how that's how real trolleys. Work. Well, it's probably because there's a friction motor attached to the wheels. Yeah. So when the wheel like the wheels actually create a little bit of their own electricity. Stop. You can't stop the trolley. Yeah, too far. Well, I can get that, though. Oh, here comes one. Yeah. I think it does have some significant kick. It does, but your reticle never goes up. Oh, your hand, okay. It automatically pulls back down. Yeah, like 100%, like there's no actual, there's technically no actual kick. There's a kick to where if you shoot too fast, it's technically a kick. Your see, hand can't come back down, okay. But see, if I shoot, it goes all the way back down to exactly where I was shooting. If you look closely, it does look like there's two stages to the re-aiming, because it brings the gun back down, and then there's a slight readjustment. Yeah. See that? Yeah. It is really dark, and I really don't like it. Ima oh, a fi uh, imagine a bug net, you could catch one of those creatures. You could keep him as a pet. Oh, I would love that. Fucking, I genetically engineered a mud raptor on fucking Auro Charm. I can take one of these. Bitch, how fast can I make this thing go? Oh, does it only have two speeds? That kind of sucks. Okay, stop here. I've seen a bunch of good shit here. Man, a catheter for your butt, goodness gracious. <laughs> I think it would be more trouble for guys than girls. Well, we wouldn't need one in the front. Women would. <laughs> No, I'm specifically talking for dysentery. Yeah, it'd probably be easier on them. Did I kill it, or did it run away? I think it ran away. Or it's just directly underneath the bridge at this point. Yeah, and I can't tell. Waiting. Oh, wait, no, you're right. On your right. I think I saw- it might have just been the Borealis, but I think I saw it go by. Well, it'll show itself in a second. Oh, those are the little ones. The worst thing about that that very low sound coming from that thing is that it, I don't think it's actually coming from it technically because I always hear it behind me. I always hear it behind me. Where'd he go? Is he dead? Oh no, he is dead. Okay, there he is. That's okay. him right there, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it looks like him. Nothing else is that bendy. Okay. 
What the scrap? Whatever this is. Ooh, what if your ship could get barnacles? Thank you.